What is solar energy? Originates with the thermonuclear fusion reactions occurring in the sun. Represents the entire electromagnetic radiation, visible light, infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays, and radio waves. Radiant energy from the sun has powered life on Earth for many millions of years. Advantages and disadvantages of solar energy. Advantages. All chemical and radioactive polluting byproducts of the thermonuclear reactions remain behind on the sun, while only pure radiant energy reaches the Earth. Energy reaching the Earth is incredible. By one calculation, 30 days of sunshine striking the Earth have the energy equivalent of the total of all the planet's fossil fuels, both used and unused. Disadvantages. Sun does not shine consistently. Solar energy is a diffuse source. To harness it, we must concentrate it into an amount and form that we can use, such as heat and electricity. Addressed by approaching the problem through 1. Collection 2. Conversion 3. Storage The solar collectors used in solar air heating systems use air as the fluid for capturing the solar thermal energy and transferring that heat to your living space. In the most common setup, the collector draws cool air from the house, heats it, and returns the now heated air to the living space. Solar energy to heat water. A flat plate collector is used to absorb the sun's energy to heat the water. The water circulates throughout the closed system due to convection currents. Tanks of hot water are used as storage. Photovoltaic. Photovoltaics are best known as a method for generating electric power by using solar cells to convert energy from the sun into a flow of electrons by the photovoltaic effect. Solar cells produce direct current electricity from sunlight which can be used to power equipment or to recharge a battery. How does it work? In a PV system, the PV cells exercise this effect. Semiconducting materials in the PV cell are doped to form PN structure as an internal electric field. The P-type, positive, silicon has the tendency to give up electrons and acquire holes, while the N-type, negative, silicon accepts electrons. When sunlight hits the cell, the photons in light excite some of the electrons in the semiconductors to become electron hold, negative, positive, pairs. Since there is an internal electric field, these pairs are induced to separate. As a consequence, the electrons move to the negative electrode, while the holes move to the positive electrode. A conducting wire connects the negative electrode, the load, and the positive electrode in series to form a circuit. As a result, an electric current is generated to supply the external load. This is how PV effect works in a solar cell. With the ever-increasing demand for energy, the search for alternative energy sources has increased. The worldwide use of fossil fuels has led to the critical situation of global warming significantly affecting our health, environment and climate. Extensive emphasis have been put on the implementation of renewable energy sources. Solar energy is by far the most abundant form of renewable energy and has the potential to partially replace fossil fuels. The amount of solar radiation striking our Earth's surface is about 10,000 times higher than the current global electrical energy consumption. Photovoltaic PV cells is one of the way to harness solar energy. PV cells convert sunlight directly to electricity and can be influential in meeting the world's energy demand. PV systems are being used in a variety of applications. These applications may be grouped into two categories, utility interactive systems and standalone systems. In utility interactive or grid connected PV systems, PV modules are connected to inverters that convert the DC produced by the PV modules to AC. This electricity can then power household appliances or can be sold directly to the grid. As a building receives this energy, it is distributed to appliances and lighting or other devices where needed. Since PV systems are restricted to function only exposed to the sun, a backup system is frequently required to ensure continuous supply of electricity, irrespective of the weather conditions. These systems are most commonly used in houses or commercial buildings to offset electricity cost. A well-designed PV system with a proper storage facility can be an attractive prospect for displacing power during the peak hours. Standalone systems Standalone systems directly use the generated produced electricity. 
standalone systems do not rely on utility grid connections. When the requirement arises during nighttime or poor sunlight, a battery storage system is used. In some situations, standalone systems use conventional generators as backup systems.